damage. Overheating. How are you so hot? Mark. <laughs> so, here's how you um, stop this from overheating. You tear it down. And then you build it back up. There we go. Minions Rise of Gruen Friday. Oh! I should watch that. Defeating Avatar on Kara. Wait, I haven't watched Kara. Is it. Wait, there, there's not a new Avatar, is there? Yeah, I guess basically waiting for for that. All right, Avatar after A A N G Ang Ang. Cora is Avatar after Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google. Okay, if you say so. But we need to hook up the automation to open the bay doors to launch the rocket. Ang was airbender. I, I am so out of the loop. I have no idea what you're even talking about. <laughs> it's sad. Look at these things! They're like 1200 watt each. Okay, let, let's skip those two. Let's, let's get rid of them. Airbender. Yeah. The best I can do is... What? <laughs> so, like, for these rockets, technically what we should have, we should have, like, scanners that detect that the rocket is arriving, when it's arriving the doors should open, and then these should retract, when it, and once it's landed it should extend, let it out, and then once it's fully loaded it should retract, and doors should open, it should auto-launch. And there is like a whole lot of things that need, that should be automated for rockets. Or we can manually click launch. I I'm feeling the latter. Overheating again? Are you kidding me? I didn't even. Oh. Can we like just sweep it back real quick? Get some drywall behind here. One of these things here. Where's my plumbing? here together with some bridging and then have a liquid meter valve into a liquid well and hook it all up you're not kidding me but you're feline that rocket's getting hot yeah it will be 
Also, door. Why? Hi. Could you? Like, not? <laughs> not be open right now? What did I just build that out of? Gold. Alright, that's, that's fine. Why is that unreachable? That way. You're feeling that rocket's getting hot. Oh, I see it. I see it now. It, it, it just had to go lap, okay? <laughs> Why am I bad? So I do want to clear the area around what's going to be the rocket exhaust because you might be shocked to know chat but rocket exhausts are hot like real hot like cooking hot dogs hot That's painfully slow. Any day now. Come on, Betty. You can do it. Yeah. Okay, what else do we need? Um, we do need a production of hydrogen and oxygen here to fuel the production of locks and liquid hydrogen that's gonna be the fuel for our final rockets i'm creating a lot of this stuff are we maybe we tune this to like if it's below the 14 just a more cold I'm looking at the oxygen pressure here it's not like it's bouncing all over the place which is kind of indicating that it's yeah evaporating and then condensing maybe not everything here is down to temperature yet Yeah, these tiles are not. We're getting there, though. Come on, please, just do the thing! Just pump it. Yes! We got a little bit. How long is this going to be active for? 80 cycles. Alright. And then it's gonna be erupting half of that time. No, don't not that not that way. Oh gee, that's bad. I connected the wrong pipe again. Stop! Stop! Yep, I was about to say it's gonna 
condensing the pipes before it gets down here. Oh no, there's a single packet of steam bravely making its way through. And <laughs> it's eventually gonna end up in one of these canisters. Well, work. What do you know about Avatar? Um, sexy blue time? Um, I think that's about it, yeah. <laughs> yes, we are fueling the rocket! Okay, so let's, uh, let's send like, I don't know, a hundred kilos here. At like one kilo a second. Yep, just boiling it off. Did that literally just instantly boil off? Yep, it's instantly boiling off, but it is cooling it down, so... So there's that. You can see the steam just venting. Yep, that's, that's one way of deleting heat. Open star map. What did we find? Another living planet with metal and oxygen? Okay, let's see this rocket. Too far! Ah, oh, gee, we can't even get off this the launch pad with this... This sucker. Okay. Can I just move the weight penalty? <laughs> ah, total thrust, total range. Zero centimeters. We can't even get off the pad. Ah... Oh, okay, fine. You make me sad. <laughs> Chat, a rocket is a chunker. It, it can't even get off the pad. I'm so sad. There's a second movie coming out in the sun. Ah! Yeah, I think I watched it when it... Like, the, the first movie. When it originally came out. But I was in Japan at the time, and it was one of these 3D active shutter glass thingies, like first gen tech, that gave me a headache. Not ideal. Not not ideal. Can we please get rid of the command capture? How about the double header? Mm -hmm. Remember the sensor for IMAX? Yeah. Okay. How are we looking now? Star map. Too far for this rocket. Okay. Is it just because we haven't fully fueled her up yet? Oh, that might be why. Okay. Yeah. about this but a normal gas pump will only output at 500 grams a second regardless of what the surrounding pressure is meaning that we're only gonna fill this up at half the rate but once this is filled up what we're gonna do is we're gonna buffer the um, uh, the steam in this tank and the output from the tank can be up to one kilogram per second so it will be twice as fast to fuel it up
Wow, why so slow? Pump more faster. Okay, but we are making a couple of kilograms of, of liquid oxygen. Ever so slowly. I think once these get down to like minus 95 or something, we'll uh, we'll be we'll be good. I'm kind of. Have you have you seen like the trailers for? What you call it? Final Fantasy VI 16. I I've been deliberately avoiding the trailers, but I'm like, I'm excited to have a new Final Fantasy game. After playing Final Fantasy 15, I don't know, man. I'm a little bit disappointed in that game. Like, the open world nature of it just totally, totally ruined the Final Fantasy spirit for me. Especially with the random enemy drops, the longer you you were in an area, like if you were not entirely sure where the quest item was, and you had to run around and look for it, the enemies would just stop, per would just continually like perma drop on you, and you know you would never hear the end of it. And then you couldn't actually do the quest because the enemies just kept dropping faster and faster and it was just such a pain in the backside. But yeah, I know open world is in. I just don't... I don't think Final Fantasy should be open world. There, that's my hot take. I don't think Final Fantasy should be open world. Like, ever. It's it's my it's my precious. I don't I don't want it to. I just don't want to. Okay. Is the rocket hydrogen powered? No, this is a steam powered rocket. This is the oxygen not included variant of a of a bottle rocket. Yeah, and we're shooting it out into space. So that's happening. See, these are open and and that's why we cannot have a telescope that doesn't cook well I mean eventually we'll get there why are you overheating it's not even hot hot in here Okay, how are you 100 degrees C? Like, there's a coolant loop going here. There's an... Oh, that's that's a lot of hot. That is a lot of hot. Oh, some of the steam must have just clipped through the wall because... Broken game is broken. Yeah. Are we fully fueled? Nope. I just want to get to space. Well, apart from all the bugs, this is working flawlessly. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. There is so much regolith here. It's such sad. We should rotate all the hot regolith through here. Now that I think about it. Yeah, so. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up.
It lined up. It lined up. Apart from the bit that I messed up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... Sorry, I'm having a, a little bit of a difficulty brain elating and explaining at the same time. But what I want to do is I want to take all of that 300 degree hot regolith dump like half of that heat in here and recover electricity by this by means of these steam turbines so we're going to make a thing a loop that as long as the stuff that is on the loop is hot enough, it's gonna keep circulating. And if it's when it's no longer hot enough, we're gonna dump it out somewhere. And then we're gonna have like an automatic loading thing. Like let's have the automatic loading here. Except that it's gonna be here. And the stuff that is cooled will drop here. So we'll let the dupes build that, then We need an atmosphere where we can have the sweeper arm without it overheating. It doesn't necessarily need to be an atmosphere. We can do like a water cooling thing like we did here. Okay, so let's, let's get rid of that because that was a an abhorrent failure. Almost. What's what's our range like? That that's not a star map. Rockets. Okay, 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 okay. We can get to twelve hundred, which is. I mean, slightly longer than we need to. That is the, the tiniest, cutest rocket I've ever done seen. Okay, so. Dipping. Let's, let's do this while paused so the dupes don't accidentally build any of this before we intend them to. Put that there. And it's gonna sit in a teeny tiny pool of water. We're gonna have these store regolith in. You know what? We'll store regolith on both sides because we pro. And we'll have a little bit of a coolant thing going through here. We'll hook into the existing thing. I don't know why I made this out of insulator, but I did. So here we are. And then we'll load a conveyor here. And send it all on in. And as long as it's below... I don't know. Wait. We'll send it out when it's below... I must have 150 for now. I don't quite know how low we're gonna run this. 160? Okay, if it's below 170. Meaning we've trans. Ah, I'm, I'm pushing all the wrong keys. Why am I bad? No, get out of here, calculator. I don't. I don't. Oh, that's a lot. There. Numbers are hard. 
do we... Yeah, we probably need to hook it up to power. Oh no, I, I managed to nail it straight to power automatically. Perfect. Okay. And then automation. There's one wire we need, I think. Uh oh. It's okay. It's okay. We can fix this. We can fix this chat. If ever your automation wires get tangled, the solution is add more automation wires. Yep. No conveyor receptacle. Oh. What? Oh, because it's not built because we cannot reach it. I knew I would come back and regret making our thing so gosh darn tall. Oh well. I think. Oh, right, 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 right. We are, we're done. We're not. We can cut that. Start filling in. Excuse me. Hello? And then the tank, get rid of that. And hook this guy up. Could you please build this thing before everything condenses in the pipes and you have hot steaming water all over the place? Thank you. Thank you. Please repair the daggum pipes. Okay. Okay. What's our first destination for science? I mean, okay, look, we don't have that many selections, but we have selected a destination here. Um, Camille. Come over here, girl. It's your time to shine. We should probably open the doors. We should probably open the doors. Camille, girl, hurry up. Ain't good all day. Uh, rip this gantry. Launch the rocket! See you later! Uh-oh. See, this is what I'm talking about, the scene. Now we're just gonna vent it into, into space. But, you know. Okay, so... Now what we need to do is set up detection of this rocket to automatically open these doors. want this door wire to also plug into this guy 